Hey everybody, I'm back again, I'm on a roll, and um, I just wanted to expound a little bit on part two of my Christ Consciousness series, and um, that part's going to be based on the Tree of Life, so, um, you know, like I was saying, some of the things that Christ taught about, um, I seem to be confirming through my research findings, and um, it's very interesting to me that um, even though, you know, these things are placed right in the Bible, and, you know, people are reading the Bible, um, the interpretation of it is completely wrong and highly watered down. And um, I just want to say that as a metaphysical scholar, um, I'm really not into uh, <laughs> attaching my name with a lot of degrees and stuff, but I, I feel like I need to let people know this because um, I just started making these videos and I've been forever talking about some of this stuff, but since I'm coming out with these videos, and um, I know that more people that who don't know me are going to be watching me. I just want to give you a little bit of background about uh, why I'm bringing you these messages. So here's my degree right here. Med uh, I got a bachelor's degree in metaphysical sciences. And I am also an ordained metaphysical minister. You can see that right there. And um, Here's my practitioner diploma. I'm working on my doctorate, and I'm not quite done, but I am certified to be a metaphysical practitioner. So my specialty is removing energy blocks, and um, I'm mostly interested in the chakra system, um, or what I like to call the uh, energy, the soul or spirit energy distribution organization and distribution system um, within our being. And here is my degree in metaphysical sciences, just to let you guys know. And I'm also a scholar, graduated in um, child development from Fresno City College in California. And I also um, have a degree in uh, human resources management from the University of Phoenix. So I've done a lot of studying, and so I just want you guys to know that I do have a foundation um, for um, this type of information that I'm bringing. I've, I've, I've studied it long and hard. So I've, I've kind of put things together, and, um, you know, my purpose is just um, energy work, Basically, that's everybody's purpose, but a lot of us don't understand that purpose yet. And so um, that's what I specialize in. And so, you know, I'm here just bringing these videos about different things that we need to be aware of when it comes down to energy work. And um, I'll be doing some healing videos, too, where I'm showing people how to heal themselves using energy work. But um, you can always um, come to me for assistance. And um, like I said, um, I specialize in removing energy blocks. Um, no matter where you are in the country, um, I use metaphysical processes so you don't exactly have to be in front of me. Um, if you want to get a hold to me, I just want to let you know I'm on Instagram and Twitter at Hazel1190S. That's at Hazel, H-A-Z-E-L, 1190S, as in snake, at gmail.com. Hazel, 1190S. Not at gmail.com, guys. That is my personal email address. But at Hazel, 1190S on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to email me for help, you can also email me at higherconsciousness. 2015 at gmail.com. That's higher consciousness 2015 at gmail.com. I'll have all this information posted so you'll be able to go and look. 
But anyways, just, you know, getting down to business, I want to talk to everybody today about um, the tree of life and um, how that relates to Christ and um, basically um, frame that for you in a metaphysical and psycho-spiritual perspective so that you understand what that means for us today. And so, um, you know, I always put these posts up and I write a little bit because I'm more of a writer than I am a speaker, but I do have um, um, inspiration to put these videos up for people who want to be a part of my audience who aren't readers, but they're visual. So you can see me and you can hear me expound on these different things. And I also give additional information that, you know, I don't have time to write or you know, it's just too much for people to, to grasp their attention when they're reading. Um, so here, here it goes. So what's with all the coded language and secrecy? Why can't there just be transparency about the tree of life? Well, I'm cracking a lot of codes these days, and I'm here to, to tell you that the tree of life isn't a tree. The tree of life is you, you and me. First off, the tree of life model is nothing but a human being fully integrated with their soul, spirit, self. So you'll hear me talk a lot about the three components that we're made of. I, I always call us a mind, body, soul complex because those are the three components that we're made of to make one human being. It takes a mind, it takes a body, and it takes a soul. If only Western medicine subscribed to this motto, society today and all institutions only evaluate the function of body and mind. And so that's why we're having such a disconnect and we don't know what's wrong with people. We don't know what's wrong with mass shooters and child molesters and, you know, people who are... Um, committing crimes full of lawlessness, hurting other people, um, and things like that. We don't know what's wrong with them. The reason why is because we're a tree. And the, the roots of our trees are spiritual, okay? And in order to be for people to heal from these types of things, we have to get to the spiritual root and we have to heal from a spiritual uh, base, okay? When you're talking about chakra systems, that's your spiritual base right there. And when those um, energies, those soul energies and those spirit inner energies are coming into the chakras, they're coming there to be organized and distributed to all the parts of the body, okay? That means there are all the parts of the mind and all the parts of the body, the organs. Um, your neurons are. Um, uh, carrying biochemical or electrochemical messages throughout your body that controls these things. And those are rep manifestations of soul and spirit energy coming through to give you life. Those energies are life-sustaining energies that help you to have the best quality of life and to be able to express your higher self. So when you're talking about Christ and what that means in terms of you know, what he brought as far as teaching. And I really do think that um, he had some um, basically unknown or mystery knowledge that's passed down in different, um, different societies. Some of them are secret societies. And um, he was talking about this. He explained to us that it would come a time when you know, people were lawless and, you know, we weren't paying attention to what was going on. And then he even talks about the turmoil that would take place in the earth as far as, you know, hurricanes and bad weather conditions. And all these things are due to chakra imbalances because we have chakras in, within ourselves as spiritual energy centers or roots. And also in the earth, deep down in the earth, there's chakras, okay? 
And so um, for some reason, he knew about this, this uh, process and he knew about, you know, the breakdown or basically malfunctioning of these chakra systems within both the earth and ourselves. And he predicted this. So, um, you know, when we're talking about the tree of life, that's talking about getting all those systems back in order and together. And of course, um, the roots of the tree of life, like I said, is spiritual. So if those roots aren't in order, then the tree itself, the body and the mind parts of the tree are going to be dysfunctional. Okay. They're going to be malfunctioning and it's not a mind problem. It's not a body problem. That's why people say, Oh, you know, when they see a mass shooter, I don't know how this person could do this. This is so evil. I don't know how. Okay. The reason why is because you're only looking at it from a two dimensional perspective. You're thinking, how could this person think this way? And how can this person carry out their thoughts in a behavior? Okay. But that's because um, the, the spiritual root of the system is not in order. It's not working right. So the life-sustaining energies that are being carried out into the body and the mind, um, they're imbalanced, okay? They're deficient. The flow of them is not working correctly, okay? And um, therefore, people's reasoning skills are affected by that. They're highly affected by that. They may have um, thoughts uh, of darkness flooding them, and they don't have any light coming through from their life-sustaining energies to basically uh, have them hold back from the behavior, from acting it out, okay? Um, it's basically a short-circuiting of the system, and the person doesn't ha really have control, self-control, or um, over their thoughts or their behavior, okay? And then when I say reasoning skills, that means they, they can't basically in their mind, they can't, you know, weigh the pros and the cons. They can't weigh whether it's going to, you know, how it's going to affect people or if it's going to, you know, do different things to them. And they're acting on their lower self. They're acting on instinct. So if they get angry or they have anxiety about something, then they begin to have thought patterns and those thought patterns turn into behavior patterns. So um, if only Western medicine subscribed to this motto, as I said, we're all looking at things from a two dimensional standpoint. We're looking at thought, we're looking at behavior, but we actually have to look at inspiration and motivation. And that comes from the spiritual roots of our tree. Society today and all institutions only evaluate the function of body and mind. The tree of life is a visual and symbolic representation of what it is to be operating as a complete mind, body, soul complex. Okay? When we make decisions with the additional awareness of the soul or our spiritual roots are in order, they're working right, they're not malfunctioning. They're not depleted of any life-sustaining energies, then um, we can say people are operating from soul consciousness, or that's what I like to call it anyway. And soul consciousness is just basically, you know, um, is basically a type of thought process where you're able to reason and consider things and take yourself out of a, a situation, you're kind of able to step back and observe it. So you're, ob ob you're able to observe the workings of your body and your mind, and then you're able to come back to your soul and basically decide what's, what's good and what's bad. So when something bad comes in, you're able to transform that energy into other things. You're able to take it into other places. So, you know, those of us who have dark thoughts or we get angry and we be like, man, you know, we should just retaliate or get revenge. Okay. We should go shoot this person. Then we, we have 
the reason is still to say no, because if we shoot that person, our family's going to be affected. We're going to go to jail. We might even get killed ourselves. You know, we're able to reason. But when our chakra systems are blocking those life-sustaining energies are not coming through, that doesn't happen. So, um, secondly, uh, when we incorporate practices in our lives from this perspective, the soul conscious perspective, we understand that although our human wills may be strong, we should act according to reverence for the earth, the people on the earth, and to protect and keep our energies from being depleted or used by others in a negative way. So, you know, that means we're not taking orders or doing things just, you know, to get money or to get accolades or to build up our accomplishments or make things better for ourselves. You know, the, the main thing about being soul conscious is that you operate from a system of, it's, is it going to hurt the earth? Is it going to hurt the people on the earth? Is it going to hurt me? my soul, my body, or, you know, just basically put other people in, in circumstances or a bad environment, that's not going to bring out the highest expression of themselves. And so, um, honestly, there is a reason why people are disconnected from soul energy. Your chakras are the energy centers that the soul uses to, dis to connect itself to the body and mind. Once again, let me repeat that. Your chakras are the energy centers that the soul uses to connect itself to the body and mind and transmit life-sustaining energies for the operation of your body and mind. If these energies become blocked or malfunctioning, then you start dying physically, emotionally, mentally, consciously, even losing consciousness. And that manifests as bad reasoning skills and poor decision making. It throws off the production of electrochemicals in the brain, driving people to look outside themselves for pleasure, satisfaction, and happiness. Sometimes this soul disconnect causes dis-ease and mental and chemical imbalances. And, and we know that that manifests as different criminal behaviors like rape, you know, people molesting people, mass shootings. Um, there's all, you know, all type of ways. You know, some people try to pimp other people, you know, and then that's, uh, you know, women that are called prostitutes or people that are called prostitutes. That's how they let other people use your energy for negative. You know, if your souls, if you if you're connected to your soul energy and you're getting those life sustaining energies going through you, you're not gonna do things like that. You're not gonna give your energy away so other people can use it for bad. Um you'll have the courage to say no. You know, we wonder why people get in certain types of situations like you know, prostitutes are getting beat up and, and giving their money to pips. Or even people get in domestic violence relationships where they're with a significant other who basically, you know, abuses them physically and mentally and, and they become traumatized by that. You know, um, those, um, were, you know, not even just talking about a child who gets molested because they, they really don't have the knowledge to stop it. But when that happens to, um, you know, that, that doesn't, basically what I'm saying is that tends not to happen to people who have these, uh, life-sustaining energies coming into them and they're properly balanced and, you know, they're not a child because, children don't have all their soul energies coming through yet um, or basically they're coming through but they're not able to organize them themselves and whatnot and they're not knowledgeable of our conscious um, we have we have a small portion of consciousness on that when it comes down to psychology psychology um, but when it comes down to Western medicine, not so much because when they're dealing with diagnosis of sickness and illness in the body, um, they don't know why it happened. And um, when they do tell you why it happens, they say it's because of something physical. So they'll check your blood or your blood pressure and say, oh, uh, your kidneys are bad because you had high blood pressure. But in all actuality, 
all those systems are affected by the life-sustaining energies that we gain from our etheric double that lives in the um, etheric world or the spiritual dimension. And um, it, it comes through. And, and, and for some reason, Christ knew about this and he talked about it. Um, he mentioned it. And I'm going to wrap this video up in a minute because I don't want to make it too long. But um, I just want to say uh, sometimes this soul disconnect causes disease and mental and chemical imbalances. And this means you are disconnected from your life's real energy. And your tree of life is now your tree of death. So we've been dealing with trees of death. We've been dealing with illness. We've been dealing with disease. We've been dealing with mental and chemical imbalances, um, expressed as mental illness and different behaviors that come along with that. We've been dealing with personality defects, people cheating, racism, stuff like that. And on top of that, um, we're having um, an energy crisis. You know, people are depleted of energy. We're drinking coffee, energy drinks um, to get energy. Some people do drugs to get energy, you know, before they wander off on stage and, and do their performance or whatever. They have to snort a line of coke, you know. Kathy Griffin just came out with a video, or it was a while back ago, where she was talking about she was about to go on, on watch what happens live and Annie Cohen asked her did she want some coke before okay um people need these substances because they the life sustaining energies are basically restricted the flow is restricted and they're deficient in their flows that are coming from the spiritual dimension to help us live and have the best quality of life and express our higher self and um of course um Christ came out and he said some of these things. Some of them he spoke about it in really symbolic and figurative speech. And um, I'm just now basically um, doing a lot of this research, you know, while I'm becoming a doctor of metaphysics. And I'm finding out that a lot of my research finding ties in with, with what he was saying about um, the signs of the times. And this is why this is happening. Um, because you know, our life-sustaining energies are in balance. So um, I just wanted to bring that to you guys and let you guys know um, what's been going on, you know, with that and um, bring you part two of my series. It really doesn't have anything to do with current events more than it has to do with us just being able to understand what's going on. And like I said, I will be making healing videos so people will be able to heal themselves and if you if you don't know how to do that or you're not sure that you're going to be successful, you can always contact me and um, I can give you more instruction or I can um, also just um, basically use my my, uh, my connection to you, my psychic connection to you to help you help bring you healing no matter where you are. If you have, if you're having any of these problems that I mentioned, any of these bad thoughts, if you're being flooded by dark thoughts, please contact me because, um, you know, I, I'm not judgmental and I don't want to judge people, but this is the reason why we're sick, everybody. It's not, you know, really people's uh, fault, you know, this is just something that's going on right now and we've reached the apex where the negative energy has gotten so bad that, you know, it's really affecting people. People are getting traumatized and, you know, people are getting um, uh, physically abused, mentally abused, sexually abused, and um, it's all just coming into an apex now. Other people are either doing it or people's lives are suffering tremendously and they are living very low quality of life because they're not able to, um, they don't have this awareness and they're not able to establish a true form of healing because we have to hear, heal the spiritual roots of our trees. And I think that that's um, what's meant to in the Bible when it says that we will have access to the tree of life. Once again, this information is now um, being dispersed to everyone and we're able to have a death. Um, or another a level of deafness into what's going on with people.
but we have to realize that it, it comes from a spiritual root, okay? No pill is going to be able to solve it, no drug. Um, so um, hit me up. Love you guys. Peace, love, and light.